the next competency we want to address in this uh, PowerPoint is that of acknowledging ability levels of our students. Look, all students are not the same. So why in the world do we try to teach them like they are? I have a saying in my classroom, God made you an individual, so be one. As teacher leaders, we should then approach um, our instruction in the classroom the very same way. If uh, a student has a higher reading level, for instance, in my class, we should, give them, we should adjust lessons based accordingly. What this looks like in my classroom is I have a uh, eighth grade uh, class reading blog, and this is where my students read their outside literature. Uh, I give them a monthly genre of a book to read, but then they have free reign to pick the book that they want to read. And this allows them that great choice of students who have higher uh, reading abilities, pick higher books. Uh, those who have lower ones, of course, they pick the lower uh, reading levels. But all in all, they still do the same assignment. They still have the same discussion points about each book, and they're all part of the same conversation, so thus that builds the community and things we're looking for. Point being that a strong teacher leader um, doesn't just shoot for the middle, but really tries to reach out as best they can to, re to reach the individual needs of their students.